All right, man. So just want to say if you uh got you a bird three scooter, I would definitely go with something like this. If you're an adult uh, for a child, maybe something smaller like this. The simple fact, man, is because of the power that it delivers. It's not a, it's only delivering 13 amps of power. This one here is delivering 30 amps of power, which is double the amount. So, yeah, you can imagine this right here will get you uphill a lot faster than this one will. Your top speed is going to be the same. It's just going to de deliver a lot more power going uphill, like I said, or whatever the case may be. You may be going through some uh, some mud or grass. You may be cutting through some grass or something like that, dirt rock or whatever, you know what I mean? Also, going uphill, man, for someone who, like an adult, between 200 pounds or whatnot, going uphill, this is going to get hot, it's going to get warm, and the scooter's going to slow down, and you probably have to give it a kick push or whatnot. I'm not sure. This one, on the other hand, man, this is built for bigger people. An adult, someone who's more heavier, 500 watts of power, 30 amps, double the amount. Like I said, this will just pull you right uphill. A bird three, man, and you live in a an area where there's a lot of hill, a lot of a hilly area. You know what I mean? I would definitely go with something like this. It won't get hot. It's less less effort to to get you to where you want to go. Your top speed. So, yeah, man, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link down in the box below. Y'all make sure y'all comment, like, subscribe. Um, uh, I'm not saying these are bad controllers, man. It just depends on the area you live in and what you're using a scooter for or whatnot like that. Regular commute or. But these are both 350 watt. This one's 13 amps. This one's 18 amps. But yeah, man, that's it.